Good morning, everyone, guys. We are in Nara. Nara was the first permanent capital of Japan. It has been the capital for 200 years, more or less. We arrived here from Osaka, and now we're exploring the area. There are many, many things to explore, so let's begin. Basically, Nara is famous for two things, deers and mochis. So now we are reaching Todaji Temple, where one of the biggest Buddhas in the world is. And also one of the biggest wooden structures in the world. Man, it's red. <laughs> it's red. Guys, here is crazy. There are deers everywhere. Every spot, every corner, there are deers waiting for food. You can buy crackers for 200 Japanese yen, it's like 1 euro 20. And you can feed them, and they are very friendly, cute. They are even bowing. When you give them food, they bow, like Japanese people, it's crazy really. So now we're going to the temple, but there are so many deers that it's impossible for us to reach the temple <laughs> on time. <laughs> Guys, make sure to bring up plastic bag with you because there is no bean here it's impossible to find beans to throw things by the way we are eating a sweet potato okay guys in order to visit the temple you have to pay 600 japanese yen per person and if you want to visit the museum as well it's 1000 japanese yen we're gonna visit only the buddha hall Now we're going to Togaji Nigatsudo. Nigatsudo. <laughs> okay guys, we had a great, great experience with the deers here. We found a deer under a yellow tree. We fed the deer. It was a great, great experience. Now we are walking in a park because actually all this entire area is called Nara Park and there are all the temples and so on but now we're going back in the town because we want to buy lunch you can also have lunch here there are many wooden benches there are tables for picnic and so on so it's a great great spot I think that Nara is really worth visiting so if you come here in Japan also a day trip to come here explore the area the temple Buddha there are many deers also if you have children and so on We found a perfect spot under the shining sun here in the Nara Park. I'm gonna eat again tonkatsu. Okay guys, here there is another temple that you can visit, always near the Nara Park. The name of this temple is Kofukuji Temple. Kofu Basically, Kofukuji, you have to pay in order to enter. And for this reason, there are not many people inside because it's nothing special. From the outside, it's great. So you can visit it from outside. Guys, if you come here in Nara, make sure to visit Yoshiken Garden. It's for free and it's really, really beautiful. Guys, here is crazy. There is the foliage, all these colors, red leaves, yellow leaves, all these trees. So you absolutely must come here if you visit Nara. We had just witnessed to something crazy. It was the sunset with a golden sun that I've never seen in my life, almost, I should say. <laughs> but it's crazy here, amazing place. Okay guys, now we are headed to the mochi shop, the famous one here. There are a lot of people waiting in line and I think that would be really difficult, complicated, challenging. <laughs> Okay guys, we tried mochi for only one eight zero Japanese yen. So very cheap and also very good, I should say. Yeah. Guys, make sure to come here as soon as possible because for example, today the demonstration was finished at 5 p.m. So come here around like 3 p.m., 4 p.m. in order to see it. I was lucky because when I came here at 1 p.m., 2 p.m., there was a demonstration, demonstration going on. I witnessed to everything, luckily, because tomorrow we leave. We just checked in here in the hotel for tonight and it's something very, very particular, something Japanese. We're gonna sleep on the floor, on the futon, and First of all, it's the first big room here in Japan after two weeks here, fortunately. 
and it's something really, really particular. So we should make uh, our own bed. I don't know if <laughs> it is complicated or not, but it's really, really cute. And I'm happy that the room is big and also I'm happy that I try something different. Futons are ready now. Let's see how we sleep tonight. I don't know. Are you ready to sleep on the pavement? Probably I will sleep here. Yeah, <laughs> true. Guys, we are back in town. Here, there is literally almost no one in the streets. This morning was packed because many tourists arrive here in the morning and then they go back like in the evening. Many restaurants and shops are closed. There are only three, four shops open in the entire town. Before dinner, there is another important thing to do. We have to feed our friends. Yeah, dears, my friends. Uh, they're your not friends. Your friends. They're my so. friends. I'm gonna give them some biscuits. Yeah, let's go. The ramen was great, 8 out of 10, even better than the last one that we tried in Kyoto. We also had the opportunity to find persimmons, because in Japan apparently persimmons are famous, so we bought one ripe uh, persimmon, we're gonna eat now, hopefully it is good. I'm gonna sleep on the futon, and tomorrow morning I'm gonna review the futon for you, so good night, bring me luck. Good morning guys, I slept so and so, nothing special. Now we are headed to Tokyo for our last four days, unfortunately. 